So my talk is actually about induced seismicity. So, and the role of geodesy, how geodesy help us to mitigate hazards. So what is induced seismicity? Any earthquake that is triggered due to another process, injection, induced, uh, induced uh, uh, imparted stress by another fault and so on, called induced seismicity. And we hear a lot about the induced seismicity nowadays because of many reasons. The most important one is the fracking, unconventional approach to produce oil and gas from layers that we could not reach them before. This diagram shows that if, thanks to this fracking, in few years, the United States might be independent from importing oil. It's great news, job, money. Of course, there is a condition to it that we have to convince our Saudi and Russian friends to reduce their oil production that we can jack up the price of the oil. But assuming that happens, fracking would help us to, in soon future, become independent from importing oil and gas from uh, Middle East which has lots of advantages. Of course, there's a, um, uh, you know, there are two views about fracking. If you talk to people from industry, they picture something like a heaven for you. Beautiful and clean and perfect and everything is all right. But the truth to it is that it causes pollution to, uh, to uh, uh, aquifers and atmospheres. Explosion happened at the sites. And also earthquake triggered um, as a result of that. At least we, we, we have this uh, intuition. So the idea is that, uh, look at this for example, look at this uh, graph shows that how, uh, uh, how number of earthquakes in the United States increased since 1973. For almost 30 years, we had about 100, 800 earthquakes la larger than three. But for a period of 2009 until 2015, we have 1,500 earthquakes. That is overlap with the period that uh, we have increase in the injection. So, it's intuitive to guess that there is a relation between these two. But what we can do, on one hand, we have money and job and home. On the other hand, we have these all hazards and these downsides. So there is no way to stop fracking and injection associated with that. But we have to come up with the approach to live with it. And that's where I want to show you, present to you great ideas, new vision, and great data that we get from geodesy, in particular, space-borne uh, radar interferometry that help us develop a framework that allows to mitigate hazard at the same time use the, uh, use the data. So this is a movie which is supposed to show you how INSAR works. Because I was the first, like, I'd prefer to have it, but I made that on a PC, but it doesn't work on a Mac. So INSAR provides you with 24-7 observations um, system that um, give you global coverage at unprecedented ex uh, accuracy and precision. You can have millimeter level displacements on the surface. So this is an example from Eastern Texas, Timson, that there has been um, several large earthquake magnitude four plus at the end of 2012, about 2012. And uh, that's an area we haven't had any earthquake recorded using in, uh, in our uh, archive. So when you look at the injection data, we see that there are five injection sites near that, this site that um, injected lots of uh, fluid under the ground, and that led to that uh, earthquake. So, and when you look at the satellite imagery, we see that there is a clear uplift signal adjacent to those injection sites, which suggests that the injection that has happened uh, led to this uplift and uh, uh, trigger uh, and uh, cause this volumetric strain that uh, we observe using this uh, great observation comes from geodesy. So we use this data set, uh, the, the surface deformation data, in a sophisticated prolastic model that is uh, informed also by the injection data. We, and we come up with this distribution of the pore pressure in the crust that it tells us whether these earthquakes are triggered or not. The good thing about this model, this data, is that time dependence. So we have time series of surface deformation. We can have time series of the pore pressure change. And that would help us to come up with the strategy for injection, because pore pressure is not going to stay high always. Once you have a, a good um, observation and understanding of what happens on the crust, on the surface, you can come up with this strategy for injection, tell people when they are injecting too much, they raise the uh, stress to the level that they may trigger earthquake. And at that moment, they have to reduce the pressure uh, injection. 
And when the pressure, polar pressure diffuses to the hot strike, they can increase that. And that's a very novel thing that we have only from geodesy. And this is observation, unique observation that we have from uh, radar interferometry. Thank you very much.